So after a number of years of sitting in a stand with friends and going out during bow season, I decided this year was my turn to go buy some tags and take my own try. So this year before bow season, I took my time. Um, Ian and I went out, we checked trail cams, and uh, spent a lot of time practicing with the bow. Just to kind of get used to the difference between shooting a gun and shooting a bow. Because I've always primarily been a gun hunter. Uh, which is a little bit of an adjustment to me, but I think I got it pretty well. Got the hang of it pretty well. It's November 3rd. We got some overcast guys today. It's looking pretty good for uh, a good set. I'm out here looking for any good mature deer, buck or doe. Uh, see what happens. So during the early split bow season, we had a lot of encounters, but nothing that gave us a solid shot. So that took us into Iowa's gun season. So while I'd been working, Ian had driven around and scouted, and he'd had eyes on a particular buck on a farm that we named Double Main. And we'd seen him out there during daylight, and he was pretty regular out there. And uh, Ian kind of kept an eye on a few of those farms, and we decided that he was going to be one of our targets. All right, this hell. We're set up by a log pile. That little doe come out on our go camp. We just got four bucks coming out. One of them is a buck that we've nicknamed Squirrely Dan. He's a real good sized buck. We're gonna try and come up, get over this next hill. Hopefully get a good stock on him and get a good shot. We're gonna see what happens. Hopefully this one works out. He's a real nice deer. On the way over, we got busted by another deer that was in the field, which put, obviously, fair game and all the other de deer in the field on high alert. make it to behind the blind and get calmed down just enough to get poked around to line up on a good shot. And as soon as I came around the corner and lined up my shot, there he is. fair game took off. And I missed my one shot at it, which was kind of a heartbreaker. He is a big deal. Shoot him. Hit him? I don't know, man. I think I missed him. Well, I guess we'll watch it. I don't even know if I want to right now. It's <laughs> <sighs> always hunting, my friend. I was shaking so freaking bad, man. So after me and Ian went up and took a look, realized it was a clean miss, kind of led us into the last weekend, hoping we'd get another encounter with either fair game or another one of the shooters that we had out on that farm. All right, this is the last day of Iowa shotgun season here. We're on a farm that we've hunted a pretty fair amount. We're over the fell by buck tag. Perfect for this farm. And uh, hopefully we can seal the deal tonight. So 
So we come down to the very last day of season. We're sitting out on a Sunday afternoon on the same farm that I missed fair game on in hopes that we could see him or another one of these deer come out. Me and Ian were sitting in the blind. We've had a few groups of does come out into the field and they're walking around feeding. And we got to talking about a deer that Ian had had an encounter with earlier in the year. This buck, he'd gotten on camera, seeing him during early bow season, and all of a sudden, he disappeared completely. So we didn't know if someone had gotten him or if he'd moved on to another farm. And about five minutes after this conversation, this particular buck stepped out. I got an idea. You want to shoot a doe? There's still a whole bunch of them right there. Get your dope tag. How far out you suppose? 200. Do it. So, what just happened? Quick recap. We're out here, we had two bucks in mind. Third one showed up that we've got on camera, has been seen at least once, we thought could have been dead. We have confirmed that he's dead tonight, <laughs> but uh, we got a good shot on him. And then uh, come across the hill, there's some does that stayed out. I picked out a, we had, there's a good sized doe out there, so we picked her out and uh, dropped her right in her tracks. So, in the last few minutes of the last day of Iowa's shotgun season, we've tagged out. <laughs> that, that right there is one of the most wild shotgun hunts I have ever had. Ever. And I've been waiting for this moment all season. I feel a little bit of redemption on that missed shot, and uh, I feel good. I hope so. I really do. I think there's blood right here. It goes right down there where my light's at. Do you see it? Can I get it? All right. Well, after shooting my buck and doe on the last day of the season, it felt good to close out the season, not only filling both tags, but shooting one of my best bucks to date, uh, especially with a good friend like Ian in the blind with me to experience such a great hunter.